A Most Excellent Summation by Marlon Schroeder. August 24, 2020 by Anna Von Reitz. Every once in a while someone shames me with the simplicity and exactness and purity of their analysis meet Marlon Schroeder and in case you missed this excerpt from the slightly longer comment he shared today, which was really just to draw the conclusion again that just as in every other election since 1860, they select them and we elect them. Marlon gives a nice breakdown, however, of more exactly how and why. The U.S. as a federated corporation, with a handful of owners, Fed res owners. There are dozens of documents stating so, since 1868. Never in the history of the world, have the workers' slaves, elected their CEO nor Board of Supervisors Congress. I have known of, spoken to a couple people who were on the DNC and RNC to they are owned by the same holdings companies to the parties are paid to represent their corporate owners, by selecting their representatives, just like a normal corporation works. This is how it works. 1. Candidates applicants emerge apply. 2. They go through a screening process both behind closed doors, and in public debates, for a show. 3. The media purports who you support, through faux polling. 4. The party is told who will be hired, by the board of the holdings companies. 5. The media, once again, tells you who you voted for, who won. 6. The media continues to tell you what you want to hear, and what to have faux outrage over, until the next globalist-owned sock puppet is hired. 7. You are happy to have the illusion of choice, while they tell you that your enemy is those who vote for the other party's selection. Well, actually, Marlin, I haven't been happy with the illusion of a choice, nor with nine-tenths of the candidates on offer, ever, but otherwise your conclusions all pass the sniff test with flying colors. This process, what you have so succinctly described, is how the political party system works, and, more generally how any corporatocracy works. As Lysander Spooner observed when all this idiocy began, being able to choose a new slave master every four years doesn't make you less of a slave. As I will also point out, according to the territorial federales, it is still illegal for municipal citizens to vote in federal elections, though millions upon millions of them do, right along with millions of deluded Americans who think that these private corporate offices and elections involve our office of president, and these hyped-up media events must be our public elections, when in fact they are not our elections at all. If, Mary's Potato Chips, Incorporated, held an election today to choose a new board of directors and CEO, would I vote in it? Only if I happen to be a shareholder in Mary's Potato Chips, Incorporated. It's the same way with these foreign, governmental services corporations, that are here as our subcontractors. Their elections are all private corporate elections having nothing to do with us or with our government or any public elections or offices.